I just love makeup. What can I say? Like, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a foundation today, which is going to be the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. I'm going to start out by giving you guys just some facts regarding the foundation. Then I'm going to continue by reading what Maybelline's description and what this foundation claims to do. And then I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and my experience while using and trying out this foundation. All right, this foundation comes in 12 different shades. I bought mine at Walmart and this retailed for $8.94. The color that I got is Sandy Beige, which is number 60. This comes in a bottle that has 0.67 fluid ounces. This is a liquid to powder formula, which means that you apply it as a liquid and once it settles into your skin, it will um, have a powder finish. This is a medium coverage foundation. Although it does claim to be buildable, I don't think that this is buildable. I believe that from my experience, this is a medium, a true medium coverage. This foundation is also recommended for normal skin types. This foundation also does oxidize, so if you're thinking about getting this or trying this out, make sure that you do go at least one shade lighter. If not, mix this with something that is lighter with, so mix it with another foundation that is lighter. This foundation also has a matte finish. All right, so now I'm going to just read you from my phone what the website claims that this foundation will do and how it'll perform. So it says, breakthrough texture fuses with skin, a finish so impeccable yet undetectable. Exclusive dropper, medium to full coverage, ideal for normal skin. Why you'll love it. Breakthrough liquid foundation texture fuses with skin, a finish so impeccable yet undetectable. For best results, shake well, unscrew cap, holding dropper vertically, allow foundation to drop onto fingertip, apply to face as usual. Okay, so now I'm going to start by giving you guys my experience and pretty much what I rate this foundation um, and if I recommend it. Okay, so when I applied this foundation, I did not use my fingers, number one, just because I never use um, my fingers to apply foundation. I will use it to apply concealer, um, like down the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, things like that, but I've never been the type to apply foundation with my fingers. I always, always, always use a wet, damp beauty blender or a damp um, uh, Real Techniques beauty sponge. I just personally don't like to use my fingers but this is I guess suggesting that you should use your fingers I didn't all right so when I use this foundation on my bare skin I didn't like how the texture or how the foundation laid on my skin I could totally see my pores um, I didn't like the coverage that it gave me because I wasn't expecting it to be so drying. All right, so like I said, the first way that I tried it was with my bare skin, meaning that I didn't have anything except moisturizer on my face after I had cleansed it. I didn't necessarily like how this looked on my skin with absolutely nothing in it because I felt like my pores were kind of peeking through um, and that you could see it. And also the foundation is very drying. So I personally don't like matte finishes and it has a matte finish. I just felt like it was accentuating the dry patches on my skin skin and I don't necessarily like that and I don't know anybody that does. Then I tried it with my perfect skin I think it's like what's, I don't even have it down here but I talked about it in one of my videos it's one of my favorite primers to use because it has a beautiful um, tint to it but it doesn't change the color of my foundation and it does a beautiful job of filling in the pores and it also keeps my t-zone matte which is what I want. I tried it with that and I liked it a little bit better, but it was still really drying and I just didn't like how I could see like kind of like my peach fuzz on my face and also the foundation itself like it just as I was applying it you have to work really quickly because it dries very fast. On the website it said that the best way to apply it is with your fingers. I use my damp beauty blender or like my Real Techniques beauty sponge and I felt like 
that is the best possible way to apply foundation and even with using those two products or those two tools this foundation still did not look good on me so what it's saying is that with this little like wand i don't even know it's not even a dropper or anything this just seems so like awkward you know like oh my gosh oh my gosh so as far as like application of it that it comes with it's not very practical unless you want to just pour it out but this product is very very runny so then I decided okay this foundation is obviously drying I need to add something to it to give it more luminosity to just make it more oil based so that way it can look okay like it can start to do well with my skin if that makes sense so the next thing that i decided to do was try it with some argon oil some face oil and i tried my josie maron um, argon oil and i used the light one and um, because there's two different ones there's like a one just like a regular one and then there's one that's the josie maron argon oil light and that one you can use with foundation you can use under your um under your primer and over your foundation and I decided to try that and honestly it looked really pretty however after eight hours that was the longest that it could have gone with what I had done to it and after eight hours it just was starting to break up like especially right here on my uh, smile lines um, I started it to like break I saw that it started to break up like right here I definitely would not recommend this to anyone that has dry skin because this will emphasize and cling on to those dry patches on your face like no other overall I would have to say that I would give this a thumbs down for me because I just didn't like how it looked on me I didn't like how much I had to try to make the product work and I had to do different things to it um, like diff do using different primers using the argon oil and it was just like I kind of felt like I was trying to work too hard to make it work <laughs> I definitely will not be repurchasing it and dang it because I don't have the receipt anymore and I anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in and for listening to what my thoughts are I am currently trying another foundation that oh my gosh so far, I really, 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 really love it, especially for us dry skin girls that are out there um, for the springtime, summertime coming around with that luminous, dewy skin that we all love and want. I will be having a video about a foundation, hopefully if it lasts for another week and it does really well like it has been, then I will be doing a video on it. Either way, I'll be doing a video on it, but um, I've really been loving it, so I'm super, super excited to share that with you guys. Leave any comments that you have down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos because I will be having a lot more review videos um, that I'll be posting but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye